Welcome into Six of the City. Steve Bowers <laughs> with you, and this is Cassandra Fuller. Cassandra Fuller. With two and, mics and today. Two it's going to be a so, great so, day. So, we got things going on. That's we right. A, we got a full show today. We want to welcome back the Skeleton Crew. We do want to welcome the Skeleton Crew. They're in the battle for Best Music Group in Jackson That's and right. the Reader's Choice Awards. So, you need to go and vote. Go vote for them, and so get that taken care of. And today, it's a showcase of our high school. We got a lot of uh, theatrical productions. That's coming right. Out. So if you want to see live theater, this is the place to be and this is the show to watch. It sure is. So we got the preview coming. Becky Fly is going to be with us and Brian Hanna from Madison Academic. And Brian is the author of the play. He today. is. So a Blade in the Dark. Plus, Becky says she is retiring. Uh oh. The first year we did the show, she was our most frequent <laughs> guest. She was on about every other week. She was. Yeah, she, she has. Was. A, she holds she the holds, frequent visitor you know, she's card. She's got a plaque and everything to prove it. That's right. And uh, but she says she's gonna ride her scooter into the sunset. And so <laughs> so we're gonna talk to her about that. Plus, who else is? We have us? Anna Warren and Callie Teague because Trinity Christian Academy has their play coming up, Romeo and Harriet. That's right. It is March first and second. So they're going to. We're going to talk about vitamins and supplements That's and right. other things. Chris Felder's with us from Grubbs Grocery and, and uh, Laura Layman, Layman is with uh -huh. us uh, as well. And then Landon Preston from Augustine School. He's their director of development. And Abigail Neals, who is a senior there. They have a special event coming up that's going to, well, anyway, we'll get you the details. Plus. <laughs> Josh Smith will be here, and I'm sure he's going to be bringing some friends. He's not going to be singing. He's actually going to be talking about the opening show at the AMP coming up and the next Jackson Sound concert series that's coming up March, March 17th. And that's going to be at the NED. We'll get details right. on that. And Keaton Miller and Meg Howell with us. USJ singing in the rain. Singing in the rain. So we got all those previews coming up, plus the skeleton That's crew right. with us. Excited as, to have them. And they have a drummer continue. with them yeah, today. They sure do. So we got a full gig That's to right. go here it on is. this Six, Six in the, the City. city. Hi, I'm Kedrick Perkins, PGA General Manager at Jackson Country Club. Jackson Country Club's amenities are true southern hospitality. Championship golf course, fine dining, six tennis courts, junior Olympic pool and fitness. We pride ourselves in giving our members the best. Choosing JEA was a logical choice so that we could tie in our phone, internet, and cable solutions so that we can advance our next segment of technology. I started drinking more to deal with stress. Without my realizing it, alcohol took over my life. At Alcoholics Anonymous, I've found help from people who know what I've been through. Now, I have hope. Alcoholics Anonymous. Look for us in the phone book or on the web at aa.org. We can help. Call 877-426-8330. Call now. There is hope for you. On a lawn mowing service, propane works for you. Propane can go where you go. Tanks easily changed, no spillage, quick transition, clean burn, increased energy efficiency. Propane, the affordable, clean alternative fuel wherever you mow. Find out more about JA's ProGas, call 422-7500. Propane, the alternative fuel that makes sense. Part of JEA today. to Six in the City, and uh, Becky Fly is with us, and is. along with Brian Hanna. They're from Madison Academic, and Becky, of course, has been directing theater there for ever since she's been a <laughs> school. Just a few years. Ever since she's been a school. <laughs> Before that at JCM. Just a few years. Before that, the origin of Madison County. <laughs> Just a few years. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay it's nice the to be the with century. you. Bye-bye. <laughs> 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 well, they were all full-time actors. Mic drop. <laughs> all right, very good. Well, it's good to have you all with it us. Is all good right, to so have we you. got this production. It's coming up this week. It's Thursday, Friday, and Saturday with performances at 7 p.m. Thursday and Friday. And then a two o'clock matinee on Saturday. So we're That's doing correct. Tickets are five dollars. You can get at the school. That's correct. Right. So yes. what is the name of this? Uh, it's called A Blade in the Dark, written by me. <laughs> by Brian Hanna. A Blade, a blade in, the in the Dark. What's what it about? What are my seniors? Well, oh, it, it's without giving any spoilers Yeah, we don't want away. to give away the farm. Um, it's a fantasy type setting. Think Lord of the Rings, Game of Thrones-esque. Okay. Okay. But it's all about just people in a very difficult situation, them slowly coming to blows with each other. It's a drama. It's, it's a drama. It's okay. A we got drama. That's good. <laughs> High drama. Okay. <laughs> slowly yeah, coming, said, slowly uh, coming to blows. He said, Miss Fly, we're going to need some blood. <laughs> uh -oh. Enough said. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, well, what prompted you to write this? Yeah. 
Well, I'm a novelist in my spare time when I get the chance to. <laughs> in my spare time. I didn't even want to read books when I was in school. Much, much less, much Forget, less writing. I don't have anything I want to read. I'll just write it myself. But what, the um, big inspiration for me, at least, was okay. actually when the hurricanes were happening in Florida at the time. Just that feeling of being isolated with a group of people as slowly the danger gets closer and closer. I was like, yeah. sounds crazy. Sounds a lot like work. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you you are a novelist in your part time. Uh, I try to be. Try to be. It's okay. pretty amazing. That I like is. to read Charles Dickens. I like to write my own literature. That's right. Okay, that's it. So, Becky, when he, did he bring this to you, or did you solicit this? Or well, we were working on a one act play in Theater Three, right? Yes, ma'am. And I think that's kind of he. Had, I don't know if you'd been working on it or if you just thought of it. But anyway, it evolved through classwork, and, and I was thinking about what to do as my last play, right. and I thought, well, you know, dude's written this play. Go out, you know, doing something that a, a student a wrote. wrote? Yeah. Okay. And it's been wonderful, and the students are very <coughs> supportive of him. They listen to him. He's directing it. Oh, he's directing it. Oh, wow. He's directing it. You know, too. I'm just over here. <laughs> yeah, and You're then I'm also them. in the cast as well. Yes, he's also in the also cast. The cast. Well, we would expect nothing but. Okay, of course. <laughs> <laughs> is this so the first yeah. play that you've written? Uh, yes, yeah, so this is the first one, and I already am in the works of a second. Um, okay. Totally unrelated to this so one. Unrelated. So what is different about writing a play? What does that do to you or for you as a writer? Well, you never realize how many stage directions you have to put until you actually <laughs> write a play. Okay. The movements of what you have to do, you can't just say what they say, you have to explain what they well, do. When you got into rehearsals, do, yeah. did, has it changed since you started production? Or, um, I mean, when you start seeing this, I know what you Has it evolved evolve, into something but, a little different go, than what yeah, you... Okay, maybe I'll rewrite this or something. Well, you never know until you actually right. You right. get there. But, uh, yeah, there's been a few tweaks and changes okay. to the original squi uh, script where you're like, in writing, you're like, yeah, this is great. But when you see it, it's like, man, no. <laughs> Not so great. But, you know, there's, there hasn't been that many changes. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I've been surprised. Well, Becky, is this the, the, yeah, she's going I was ahead. just going to say, is this the first time that you guys have done one that has been written by and directed student. by a student? Yes. This well, I've right. had student directed plays before, but this is okay. the, the first, first written one. and well, see, directed. You, you don't have to retire. You just take it easy. <laughs> Y'all just, just bring me a play. That's right. <laughs> I'll sit here at the side, take a check. Well, I mean, I... <laughs> I'll pay the bills. <laughs> he's working on his second he's one, so, second. I mean, you know, he's when ready. When he came to you with this, did he come to you with this and say, I've written this, or did you say, hey, let no, me... No, we read it, you know, in, in class, and, okay. and then I just thought, well, you know, let's just do this. Okay. How many are in the cast? 24. Wow. That's a, that's a lot of... So it's That's a lot of drama. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's this week. It's and Thursday. a lot of blood. It's uh. at Madison Academic at the Auditorium. They're Thursday and Friday at 7. Saturday, Saturday night, too. Well, Tickets Brian, are five dollars. Yeah, yeah, good luck. Thank you. I'm very proud <laughs> of it. It should be. It's a it's a We're achievement. gonna be back. When we come back, we've got Trinity Christian. They got a production coming up. We'll find out next on Romeo Six and, and the Harriet. City. Stop and think about your health. Don't smoke. If you do, quit. Eat healthy. Make small changes in your diet that can impact your health. Be more active. Start in small ways and keep going. And know your numbers. Your blood pressure and your cholesterol are important to your health. Friends of Heart ask you be a friend of your own heart. For the most reliable drinking water supply at the highest quality, reach for the tap. Our tap water is safe and continues to exceed all government requirements. For more information about our drinking water, visit www.jacksenergy.com slash J-E-A-C-C-R. Hamilton was adopted from a rescue in 2008. He's quite the pug about town. He gets invited to a lot of parties. He knows he's a pretty big deal. I do not love him. So as the owner of Master Medical Equipment here in Jackson, 
uh, we uh, value JEA's service and our partnership with them. One of the main reasons we relocated into this area was to use JEA's uh, broadband internet service. We do a lot of teleconferencing, we do a lot of uh, international calling. Inside Sales business is based off of access to telephone, to internet, to all the services we need to operate. And uh, we had to go with JEA because I felt it was the best fit for our business. Welcome back to Six in the City. We'll be hearing from the Skeleton Crew coming up right. in, in this segment. Anna Warren with us and Callie Tig. They've informed us they're alumni. They're alumni. Oh, Trinity, Trinity Christian Academy. You get my age, anybody past under 40 <laughs> looks like they could be in high school. So it's, 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 it's tough, to, <laughs> tough to tell. All right, so you're alumni. What got you involved in this production? Um, my little sister is uh, in the play, okay. and I, we're both students at Union, and so we like to go back and help out okay. whatever way we can. Are y'all doing theater at Union, or...? No. No. Okay. No. So, so this is just it. a right. love for your right. school, and you want to go back, right? But this production is coming up at Trinity. Well, it's going to be at the NED. The it's NED, being produced right. by Trinity Christian. It will be Thursday and Friday evening at seven, a Saturday matinee at two, and it's called Romeo and Harriet. We dumped Juliet, and we picked up Harriet, right? <laughs> well, the original name of Shakespeare's play was supposed to be Romeo and Harriet, and then he decided to change Harriet to Juliet. So there's right? there's a lot of like. Um, it stays very true to his story, but it's very family friendly and kid friendly, and um, there's not anything dark or um, dreadful. And it, it's very colorful. And it's is that the way he wrote it originally, or have uh, no, no, <laughs> no, it's <laughs> very exact. No. no, I was kind of disappointed in William there. I thought <laughs> showing another side. Let's write an X-rated version of this. Right? Okay, all right. So, so y'all have adapted this. Mm -hmm. Who did the adaptation? I am not sure. Okay. Um, but there are a lot of fun dance scenes and dance numbers, if you want yeah. to talk about that. Um, so it takes from a lot of different genres. So it's not just one genre. There's like a country dance scene and uh, like classic Broadway. And so there's like something in it for everyone. It's very upbeat and lighthearted. Um, and it involves like a huge ensemble cast. So, I was going to say, how many are in the cast? Um, about 60. About 60. Wow. About 60. That's a big cast. 60, okay. Yeah. Um, and so... It doesn't really focus that much on like one specific character, but you get to see a lot of like ensemble dance numbers and stuff. So it's really fun. Truly, okay. truly a musical then. Okay. All right. What is y'all's role with this then? What, what, what have y'all been doing? With it? We're not in the show. We just came to promote it. Um, oh, well, so they're the promotion they're team. They're y'all the promotion team. <laughs> I have been so at Y'all have been working the production then, or, or, or you have? No. Okay. No. Yeah. She's been working behind the scenes. Yes. Okay. I just take notes for Miss Holly as she's going because she's so busy. She's our main director, and so I sit next to her, and she tells me to write something down. I'm doing it. <laughs> but then you said you have yeah. a sibling in the in yes, in the sir, play, so mm -hmm. the principal at Trinity said no one's getting out of school to go do a TV show. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even ask. That's it's right. Not, <laughs> Not, not cutting school you're not, you're for not TV. Cutting school. <laughs> when do show two o'clock in the afternoon? No, you're not going. <laughs> okay. All right. So, have y'all seen the production? I have. Yes. Okay. So, what do you think? It's really fun. It's a lot like the shows we've done in the past, like Wild Wild Wildest West and Happy Days, where it's really just fun and fun, okay. energetic. Uh, and um, there's a lot. Everyone, like Callie said, a lot of people are involved. Um, and there's not just one storyline going on in a lot of ways. There's a lot of different things going on, um, but it all connects at the end. And so it's really fun. And it's so anybody very... of any age would enjoy this. Oh yes, yeah, definitely, yeah, okay. definitely. Right. So, so, and when you say country musical, is it like country? Like it has like country? a country song and okay. has some disco music in it. Um, it, it covers all. Genres. Yeah, it covers everything. Well, I was I, I was thinking Shakespeare, you know. And so I, you know. Well, it's Shakespeare for the modern time. <laughs> yes, I, I, it's what it obviously. Is. There's a country Shakespeare disco song. Shakespeare goes funky and Shakespeare yeah, goes, goes country. country. Yeah. Shakespeare goes disco. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> and the traditional English literature people out there are going, okay, put a stop to this. <laughs> <laughs> We're not having that. You know, take his name off this. So but we can get tickets at the NED or tickets at the school? Um, you can get tickets at the door. It's $12 for adults and $8 for students. Okay. $12 for adults. And once again, the production is Thursday and Friday this week, first and second at, at seven, 7. And then a Saturday matinee at, at two. 2. Okay, and this will be the at NED. the NED. It is, okay. and it's put on by Trinity Christian Academy. Okay. How's your work going at Union? You've been there how long? I'm a sophomore. Sophomore, sophomore. okay. Freshman. Freshman. Freshman, so y'all are Brand new to getting started out here. Okay. <laughs> Big anniversary for Union after the tornadoes right. and all the reflective time out there. And then, of course, the death of Dr. Graham, I think, has caused a lot of reflection, uh, different things that we've seen with Jackson 24-7 right. with Steve Beverly. So 
real special stuff. Well, it's good to have you it on here. It is. Good Thank to have you. Thank you for having me. The and promotional team. Anna Warren and, and, and Callie Teague, the promotional team. That's right. For Trinity Christian and, you know, everybody else is in school where they're supposed to be. <laughs> Later on in this show, we'll have some other people. You know, we already had Brian here. I know. Yeah, he, he, he got out today. So it's good to have friends. you here. It is. We good it. ladies. We're delighted to have these folks back with us. They do outstanding work. They're nominated as they one of the are. groups Reader's of the year, Choice. Musicians of the Year in Jackson, Tennessee with the uh, Reader's Choice Awards. We're delighted to welcome back the Skeleton Crew. Changes everything. TiVo is here. Search and control your cable channels and streaming video apps with one remote. Record six shows at once and build a library of favorites with one pass recording. Then watch on any TV in your home or browse and view on Wi Fi devices with the free View It app. Call E Plus Broadband to add TiVo and ask about our new packages. Jackson is where I chose to attend college, and it has put me in touch with many interesting people. On Jackson 24-7, we placed an emphasis on higher education. Our community has four colleges and universities. That's unusual for a city our size. They mean a lot to the economy of our community, but none of that can happen without people dedicated to teaching and research for the next generation. 
Jackson has many great stories, and I enjoy telling them on Jackson 24-7. Every day on TV6. On a lawn mowing service, propane works for you. Propane can go where you go. Tanks easily changed, no spillage, quick transition, clean burn, increased energy efficiency. Propane, the affordable, clean, alternative fuel wherever you mow. Find out more about JA's ProGas, call 422-7500. Propane, the alternative fuel that makes sense. Part of JEA today. We've had utility crews out on Highland Avenue near Dedrick the last couple of nights. They've been doing the utility relocation, getting ready for the roundabout. And we're about to introduce you to the guy who's responsible for all of it. <laughs> <laughs> Not me. If you want to know why we got a roundabout in this city, we're about to let you know who oh, I am. Oh, my land. That has nothing to do with us. <laughs> Chris Felder's with us with Grubbs Grocery and Laura Lehman, and, and she handles their vitamins and supplements managers. It's good to have you all with us. Thank we, you we so much. We do have some exciting things going on in, in downtown. That's, that's what, it's going to be a really interesting thing when that does happen, but it's designed to create a buffer uh, you know, to slow things down because we got we got pedestrian traffic coming into downtown. We got all this new building and everything else going on down yeah. here, so it's going to be a real addition for us. Well, Steve, that's a big corridor right there. You know, the yeah. truth is there are I think the average daily uh, traffic count there's eighteen thousand cars car, passing yeah. on Highland right yeah. there, and people you don't realize that because you yeah. you know you're in, um, among right. the middle of it, you don't see that, but yeah. it's a lot of traffic. And so I was reading about uh, you know I've lived through several roundabout construction uh, uh, in in, um, in Nashville. Yeah. And uh, so, I'm, not that I know anything about roundabouts, and I'm not responsible for the roundabout <laughs> here. <laughs> However, uh, it is a really, uh, you know, the, one of the recent studies was done by the uh, Washington State Department of uh, Transportation, mm -hmm. and it showed that roundabouts decrease traffic uh, accidents by about 75%. Significant factor. Yeah, Significant so factor. It's, yeah. I, it really I'm is, really I mean, excited about it. It's that. worthy. Yeah. Yeah. Once, you, once you get once used, you, once you get get used to it. That's use right. It. That's right. <laughs> well, I will say, oh, I think the first... they're selling concessions. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> I think the first six weeks are going to be very interesting, I think. They will be. That's right. Sure. So That's right. Yeah. Yeah. What, do you, what do you want people to know about Grubs and what's happening now? Because we got a lot of exciting oh things happening yeah. downtown. We got new, the new restaurant, the blacksmith, all this stuff. I mean, they're really excited to see what's well, happening. Well, there seems to be a synergy downtown right now. Oh, and downtown's coming alive. It's, it's kind of, yeah, it's crazy. And we're just kind of riding the wave. It's really fun right now. It's, it's yeah. all the new interesting things. You know, the, the local with the three little uh, people think it's a pop up shop, but it's permanent shops permanent there. Shop. Yeah, they're Pretty special. Pretty cool what's yeah. happening there. Those, I those think they're going to do, once we get to spring, the farmer's market kicks They'll do the very right. Oh, I think that's going to be great. So the AMP, you know, the AMP has been expanded to uh, 10 yeah. concerts this year, okay. which is more than last year. And they're kicking it off with a really cool announcement that I'm not supposed to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> they're really coming up in a couple of segments. Yeah. That's right. Oh, good. Josh Fisk will be here. But if you haven't been to Grubbs, Grubbs is an amazing store. It's not just a health food store. It's not just natural products. There's all kinds of natural remedies and for your vitamins and supplements manager I am the supplements also a manager pro at the natural oils right? that's right I'm an aromatherapist Aroma I'm a certified aromatherapist yeah. and uh, my role at the store is really to keep all the good stuff in stock and then to talk to people when they come, when they come. and help them understand what could help their health better I hope to teach them make their bodies work yeah we're talking about elderberry because yeah. elderberry is, is, is cold a supplement that's used for cold and flu season right okay. so it's the biggest cold and flu season we've known to record it's right. been a really hard one and we've been able to comfort a lot of people with elderberry now why elderberry what's the elderberry is an antiviral so so it disables the virus so it can't enter the cells and replicate. So basically, you're taking a fruit that actually makes the virus inhospitable, makes our cells inhospitable to the virus. Okay. So it's pretty amazing. As a fruit, it just goes to show you that there are many nature's remedies, and there's a remedy for everything. And <laughs> one of the great remedies is elderberry, and it's one of the things that people are using to keep from getting the flu. It boosts the immune system. It makes you strong, but it also disables the virus, which is what we're really trying to okay. do. Is that something that people yeah. should, we should take on a regular basis? Or, you know, or? I don't recommend taking too many things on a regular, regular basis, basis, except a multiple vitamin and minerals and okay. some vitamin C. Taking extra vitamin C would be great. But really, in this cold and flu season, when you're starting to get worried, that's when it can be a mm -hmm. supplement that can really support you. And if you're sick or you've been exposed to someone who's sick, that's okay. when it's an awesome it's time boost, to take these remedies. Absolutely, system. absolutely. So, Laura is our local... Uh, 
doctor or pharmacist. <laughs> and <laughs> Not a doctor. At the same time. <laughs> right. I do try to make people yeah. feel better, and I also yeah. try to explain to people how their bodies work. I'm not a doctor. I don't claim to give medical advice. It's very important we say that, but what I do do is help people to understand a little bit better. Like maybe function. someone never really talked to them about mm -hmm. how a virus works, or yeah. mm -hmm. maybe somebody doesn't really realize why they have arthritis, and we can help them with foods and vitamins and supplements, and even just changing your diet, changing like, your diet. trying yeah. to maybe drink yeah. more water than you're used to drinking. <laughs> yeah. The latest I've heard now is a glass of water an hour. Oh, How many wow. of you do that? Oh, yeah. Right? You're going to float away with right? a glass yeah, of water so like an hour. We, Ideally, we anything going to be in the show. bathroom. <laughs> your, body, your body is 70% water, water, so yeah. you it figure is. it out. Chris, how has it changed <laughs> since you've been open? Now, you've been open how long? Uh, this you celebrated an anniversary. Actually, we're coming up with another anniversary, uh, okay. June the 16th. Yeah. Will be three changed? years. Yeah. Did you, you come to a town and you really, I mean, yeah. it's a new experience and you don't know, you know, so how has it changed? As you far don't what know. You know, a lot was unknown when we came right. here. And it's amazing to look at what we're doing today as opposed to three years ago. Now, I don't know if that speaks to how bad we were then or how good we are now. <laughs> yeah. But it's, you know, and I do think, it's, I said yeah. earlier, it's a synergy in downtown, downtown. what's going on right now. Well, be sure. By far. Oh, by far. Oh, yeah. Well, be sure to visit with these guys. We have to get away. Yeah. With, but okay. it's, it's Groves Grocery, downtown Jackson, Tennessee, and it's right the heart of Jackson everything that's going on. And yeah. Chris and Laura, it's good to see you. Come both. on thank down and talk Steve. to Sandra, us. Sandra, thank you so much. Thank we're going to go back to the main stage, and we welcome back once again the skeleton crew. Candles will burn out in day. Listen to the shadow, listen to what they say. Let the eyes speak and let the nose come alive because the mountain won't move because the words are all lines. Yeah. in Jackson for nearly 13 years. As part of the Jackson 24-7 news team, I've learned a lot about how this community works. 
I've seen how the leaders of the city and the county deal with issues, even when it brings them into conflict. And I enjoy the opportunity to tell the stories that help people at home make better decisions. I love Jackson, and I love being a part of the Jackson 24-7 team. Alex Northcutt, part of the team you trust, every day on E Plus TV6. I'm Jimmy Floyd, Operations Manager with Jackson Madison County Emergency Management Agency in Jackson, Tennessee. With E Plus Broadband High Speed Internet, we're able to host training classes and better prepare our responders from all over the county and state. It also gives us the ability to track storms and natural disasters in real time. The phone system allows us the flexibility to stay in contact with local, state, and federal agencies both in and out of the office, which is crucial in our line of work. Propane, 95% generated in the U.S., is a gas that works anywhere. Central tanks for fleets, vehicles, portable tanks for forklifts, lawnmowers, the fuel you can take anywhere. Even backup generation runs off propane, household appliances, outdoor features. To find out more about affordable, clean, versatile propane, contact JEA's ProGas, 422-7500. The alternative fuel that makes sense. Propane, part of JEA today. Landon Preston is with us from the Augustine School. He is their Director of Development, and Abigail Neal is a senior at Augustine School. It's good to have them with us. They have an event, you know, and this is when the uh, Development Director gets to brag. He's got a sold-out event. That's right. Thursday night. It is so. a spring symposium. <laughs> Andrew Peterson. And it is sold out. And we're going to tell you what you're missing, and that way you'll get tickets for next year. That's right. That's right. Now, what are you trying to do with this event, then? Well, really, our, our spring our spring symposium is just uh, it's an event that we hold in the in the spring every year, and we try to bring in speakers, artists, scholars who really raise the level of conversation in the community. Um, particularly, it's related around arts and culture and education. Okay. So we we just try to bring in people that we wouldn't normally get to hear from. So who is Andrew Peterson? Is Andrew here? Peterson. Uh, a lot of people know know him as the Behold the Lamb guy. Uh, he comes. He rents out several shows at the Ryman every year at Christmas. He's come to Jackson to do some shows, but he's he's really known for being a Christian artist and musician. Um, but he's branched out into writing a series of books, started a media company called The Rabbit Room. Uh, so he's done film, music, books. And when we're looking at all the things that he's doing, we think that's exactly what we want our students to be doing as well. Right. Now, Abigail, you've got a special role in this. You're going to be speaking, right? And so. Yes, okay. I have been asked to give my student testimony on Thursday at the event and just to talk about what Augustine has meant to me since I've been there for so long. Okay, so you started there when? Started there in third grade. Third grade, third grade. Right. So this, wow. this has been your school experience. Yes. All right, so what is different about Augustine then? Well, first of all, we are like one giant family because we're so small, we get to know everybody, even the pre-Kers, I know all of them and I'm able to have relationships with them and be a role model to them. Okay. And then as you grow to be in high school and middle school, you start to get to know your teachers better and they become your mentors and you're able to go to them with whatever you need, whatever you want. If you need help on something, they're very, very, very happy to help you. Okay. So, yeah. How big is the school now? How many, what's the enrollment? Uh, enrollment is a little over 250 at this okay. point. We've got, I that's think, like K 16, through 12, 7 through families. Through yeah, K through, K through 12. 12. Uh -huh. So that's how many a class? Like 20 or so? Yeah, the, it's about 12 to 1 faculty to student ratio. The ratio is wow. very hard. Linda, then, when, when you talk to people about this school, of course, you develop a director and everything, mm -hmm. so I guess it's about investing in this school. And sure. Else. What do you share with them? Yeah, I mean, I think one of the things that makes Augustine School different is, you know, part of our motto is what we, we, we say, pursuing the good and the true and the beautiful. So one of the things that undergirds our philosophy of education is just thinking about what, what kind of student do we want our, our, our students to be when they're leaving us? And then we, we work backwards to think, how do, we, how do we teach them and encourage them to value things that are beautiful and to value wisdom and to value knowledge in a way that we think is going to serve them well in life, but yeah. also in work and jobs after they get out of our school as well. Is it a difference then fundamentally in curriculum, or is it the size of the school? Or yeah, the yeah, yeah. I mean, all I of those. Yeah, yeah, I think it's all those things, but a big part is curriculum. So we're we're really Jackson's only classical Christian school, and so classical is a particular approach to education. It's a really historical model that's been around. For over a so what is years. different? Yeah, about what it? is classical? Yeah, classical education. Uh, I mean, 
we could get into a whole other segment on that. <laughs> yeah. But I think in short, it's a very distinct approach to education that says that at this particular age in a student's life, let's say when children are younger, um, the emphasis is very much on rote memorization because when they get a little bit older, they'll be able to develop those thoughts more. So when they're, um, let's say, middle school, they begin to work on developing those arguments. And then in high school, it's very much about public engaging, public speaking. And really, since uh, starting at kindergarten, every student is, is actually has to present in front of the class because part of what undergirds classical education is the idea that the way that you can persuade people is through winsome uh, winsome um, presentations. And so from an early age, you're encouraged in that. Abigail, when you compare notes then with people your age, okay, and, and the, the, what, you know, what, do you, what do you sense that's different about what you've done? Um, well, I'm the only person I know who did a thesis as a ninth grader who wrote a 15-page paper, then did a 15-minute talk on it. All right. So that was... So it's like going through orals for a PhD or something. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. That's yeah, kind of okay. what it feels like. Okay. <laughs> but it's really cool because we work on that paper the whole year. And then at the very end of the year, we gather with the whole school or most of the school and parents and friends. And you get to talk about what you wrote your paper on yeah. and what you learned. Yeah, okay. And it's If really people want to know more about the school, Brendan, best way to find out about that. Yeah, just AugustinSchool.com is a great way to learn more about us. Okay. And then well, the Spring Symposium is this week, and we'll look for it next year. Appreciate right. y'all being here. Yeah. It's good to meet you. you. Continue yeah. best Good luck. Work. We're going to be back with more as we continue Six in the City. JA Site Pay Kiosks are the convenient way to pay your utility bill. These kiosks are featured in the foyer at Martin Luther King Jr. Drive and at the drive through at Pleasant Plains Extended. Use your account number and follow step-by-step -step prompts to pay with cash, check, credit, or debit card. Account credit is immediate and a printed confirmation receipt is provided. Another step in customer service at JEA today. Ready, set, go for it. It's your adventure. This is your GAC. Service is not just what we say, it's what we do. When you choose e Broadband for your cable, internet, and telephone services, you can trust us to provide unmatched reliability. From sales to installation, we work hard to bring the services you depend on every day. We're currently upgrading the network to increase our service offerings available to you. So look for us in your neighborhood soon. And thank you for choosing e Broadband and for your trust in the local service we provide right here in Jackson. It's possible, obviously, this week to go to a different theatrical production every night of the week. I know it is. And Saturday it is. and Sunday as well. So it's a special, it's a special time, and I'm sure there's some that we don't know anything about. I'm sure. That's where we get to tournament basketball and everything else that's, that's going right. on. The Lady Bruins, by the way, we got students from USJ are playing Thursday in the state uh, championship. They're in the semifinals. If they win, they'll be on E Plus TV six this coming Saturday at one because we'll have all the state championship games. Uh, from Division Two, boys and girls, both those classifications, A and AA, this coming Saturday, so be sure to check that out. That's not what they're here to talk about. Okay. Keaton Miller is with us and Meg Howell. They are from the University School of Jackson. They are part of the cast of the school-wide musical, and it's singing in the rain this year. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Raindrops and, and rain yes, coats and umbrellas and everything, The cool right? thing about this show is we actually have real rain. <laughs> it will rain on stage. <laughs> So Very people will get wet. And I'm <laughs> sure there's going to be a real rain outside mm -hmm. with the way the forecast is. Yeah, well, the weather's been going. Y'all may not have any props. Well, get, <laughs> well, the, by we this go. weekend, I think it's going to clear I out, hope, right? Well, I, I you know, Friday it is Saturday. Tennessee weather, This is going to so be Friday know. and Saturday at 7 and Sunday afternoon at 2 at the Blanket Ship Theater right. at Tickets at USJ. are $10 for adults, $7 for seniors and non-USJ students. Guess who gets in for 7 <laughs> Not me. <laughs> Man, my life has just changed dramatically. My money's going so much further. It is. Yeah, isn't you know. It? You know isn't that great? Oh, it's, it's, well, a, it's a great Tell thing. us a little bit about singing. Now, what cast, what uh, cast member do you play? I play Don Lockwood. Um, he is the lead of the show. He is a famous silent movie actor, 
and kind of the whole premise of the show is the transition from silent movies to talking movies. Okay. And so he goes from being a silent movie actor to someone who has to learn how to talk and act, act. with voice. And so the kind of struggle is it comes in of him kind of figuring how he makes that transition and also falling in love with his love interest, Kathy. Okay. Oh, and so that must yes, be Meg. So, okay. Yes. <laughs> um, I'm playing Kathy Selden, and she is a an stage actress clamoring for the big stage oh, with the big the lights. Show. Yes. Oh. And she ends up staying in California when the talkies come out, the talking movies. And um, that's how she gets rekindled with Dawn. And she's kind of like a headstrong person who keeps her guard up and she's not going to let it down. But, so yeah. It's pretty extensive cast and obviously a real challenge. Yes. And a full musical, which is a whole different type of thing. Have yes. y'all done, have you been in the musicals there before? Yes, yes sir. I've okay. been in the musicals. All right, so y'all are yeah. old handed there. Because when you think about singing in the rain, you think about that famous movie scene. I know, for, what, I know. Saying? And something really cool that we've gotten to do is all three of our leads, me and Keaton and then um, Jake Boer is playing Cosmo. Okay. And we've all actually had to learn how to tap dance for this oh, show. Oh, wow. So you yes. really will tap dance. <laughs> yes, yes we are I actually mean, no acting, ones. right? No acting for <laughs> tap dance. So this is the first time, right, for, to, to do tap dancing? Um, I've actually been in tap for about two years. Okay. Um, but for Meg it and was Jake. brand okay. new for me and Jake. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> brand new. So how was that? <laughs> um, it was... It was kind of intimidating at first. Yeah, yeah. Um, I pick up on things pretty fast, though, so it wasn't it wasn't that bad. But when we first started choreographing some stuff, I was, I was like, "This is going to be a struggle." Well, but I was it's going to say you better. have to combine sing and dance and mm -hmm. tap and remember and yeah, remember your stuff. words. It's very and difficult. Yeah, it's what a lot going it? on up here. Yeah, very much so. <laughs> Talked to some cast members earlier this week, and and what I understand is. Y'all are just now rehearsing with the orchestra, right? So mm -hmm. y'all been Correct. Doing Last this. night was our first rehearsal first with, the with the orchestra. So it comes together right at the end. It really does. So how, does that, how do. does that come up? I mean, how does that feel when you're rehearsing with the orchestra? Does it, like, give you more in, more yes. oomph and energy yeah. and think, oh, my rehearsing gosh, this with, is awesome? Rehearsing with a live orchestra, you know, the real beauty of that is you get to have so much freedom as an actor or an actress to just express yourself in ever which way your character chooses, you know? Okay. Um, if you basically the freedoms that come with having an orchestra versus with something that's recorded, recorded you just don't get yeah. to be your own self. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I can see that. So, yeah. It'd be a lot more free. I hope the director's prepared for all this. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't tell the freedom in the rain. <laughs> yeah, I didn't tell them to do now, that. Now, do we need to bring some <laughs> raincoats for this? Yes. Um, <laughs> we actually will have a wet zone in the audience. Ah. Yeah, the first two rows in oh, our yeah, like main section. Gonna get um, okay. Yes, very much so, because I was not prepared. <laughs> and um, he was on stage in the rain. It was like one of the first okay. couple times we were doing it. And he was doing his choreography, and I got, got wet. wet. Okay. Well, it Very is singing so. in the rain. It's singing in the rain. Exactly. You can't have rain and do singing in the rain. Blanket Chip Theater at USJ, Friday and Saturday at 7, and Sunday afternoon at 2. That's right. It's great can to see Can we get our tickets at the yeah. door? Get, get yes, the door. or you can go up to the school, go to USJ, um, like before and pre-get them. them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, cool. continue your best to both of you. Good luck Thank with you. you. Thank you so much. We're going back to the main stage, and we welcome once again Skeleton Crew. in the back of my mind With the dilated eyes playing dead looking up at the sky With the empty hands writing nothing feeling nothing saying something Tongue is rotted inside my mouth Ideas in my mind slowly fade away
With a crooked teeth smile and I'm missing the shivers down my spine And the other man looking at me crossing through the window of lights I had a touch so deeply that my hands are broken down Soul is standing beside myself Mind and body and soul simply body that way Changes everything. TiVo is here. Search and control your cable channels and streaming video apps with one remote. Record six shows at once and build a library of favorites with one pass recording. Then watch on any TV in your home or browse and view on Wi Fi devices with the free View It app. Call E Plus Broadband to add TiVo and ask about our new packages. I started drinking more to deal with stress. Without my realizing it, alcohol took over my life. At Alcoholics Anonymous, I've found help from people who know what I've been through. Now, I have hope. Alcoholics Anonymous. Look for us in the phone book or on the web at aa.org. We can help. Call 877-426-8330. Call now. There is hope for you. Own a lawn mowing service? Propane works for you. Propane can go where you go. Tanks easily changed, no spillage, quick transition, clean burn, increased energy efficiency. Propane, the affordable, clean alternative fuel wherever you mow. Find out more about JA's ProGas, call 422-7500. Propane, the alternative fuel that makes sense. Part of JEA today. Welcome back to Six of the City. It's not the fault of your set. We've changed places here. That's right. The skeleton crew with us. We're going to talk to the skeleton crew. talk to the skeleton crew. They're going to listen to them and get to talk to them. Special show coming up. The Jackson Sound Concert Series is going to continue. Uh, Josh Smith and, and folks have put this together, and uh, they, they're taking the next step with performances coming up at the NED. This will be March the 17th, which is what night of the week? That is a Saturday. Saturday night. If I'm, I'm correct. Okay. Yeah, it's a okay. Saturday. Saturday. It's a Saturday. 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 It's, Saturday. It'll be at 6 already. It will feature the Skeleton Crew and Back Road Therapy. Is that yes, right? they're opening yes. the show. They're going to open the show. Okay. Both of these groups are nominated for Reader's Choice Awards right. this year, I know. So congratulations. How about well, that? Thank That's you. Yeah, cool. that was news to us. We found out <laughs> the first time you said it today. <laughs> <laughs> $10 tickets. They don't tell us these things. So then now you need to tell everybody, go on Facebook, tell everybody to go and vote. Yes, yeah, we do really. have an event page set up on Facebook for this. Um, it's the Jackson Sound. It's the second of its kind. They had the first one here at the Civic Center. Okay. Yes. okay. Um, this yeah. is the second one they're second doing at the NED. Yeah, yeah, okay. So. Um, now, are there tickets? Do we need to yes, buy tickets for you this? Can, yes. You can get tickets at the door, but you can also get them at eventbrite.com. Okay. okay. Uh, just type in the Skeleton Crew, and it'll be the first result. Okay. The tickets are how much? Yes. They uh, are $10. $10. Uh, there's only 400 though so they're oh, kind of limited limited, limited yeah. seating yes. Okay. yes so go ahead and get your tickets now definitely right. be proactive. we're expecting a full house so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we won't sell for less oh, no, well, that's all right well, y'all have been together how long now Going uh, on five years. Yeah, going on five years now. And you started so. you started performing with us when you were what age? I mean, you were young. You were still in school. 16, I maybe? Think, I, I was thinking. Yeah, yeah I was so, still in high school. school so. <laughs> We've seen you go through all different types of evolutions. I mean, there's been... <laughs> There's been the gothic phase and the hard rock blaring loud. You know, getting <laughs> faith. We're still some in that country. phase. Yeah, you know, some country <laughs> stuff at one time. So what is this you're doing now? What are we now? We're uh, we tell people you know we're alternative rock, but that's yeah. so. 
kind of vague. Well, we've kind of come up with the term like Southern Gothic. Yeah, w- Southern yeah. Gothic. Southern Gothic. Kind of, it's kind of you know. like you know. Okay. It just it, it, it fits. fits. So, yeah, it does. It fits. So Southern Gothic. Yeah. It's what we call it. Okay. Right. You still writing all your own stuff? Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we're getting in the studio uh, sometime soon and hopefully have some new material uh, released. So we're very excited about that. That's Always exciting. Trying to do something new. So yeah. where are you playing now? Because I know you've been doing work in Nashville and Memphis and other places now. Right. Yes. So Nashville, Memphis. We've done some stuff in Mississippi uh, as well as uh, Kentucky, uh, doing the kind of southern music triangle type. We spend a lot of time in uh, Muscle Shoals too. Muscle okay. Shoals. Okay. Yeah, we oh, love so it. So what there. is the venue for you? I mean, when you do, you know, someone says because you know, you're not a cover band, and so you're, right. you're, so somebody's right. gonna want to hear original stuff and southern well, gothic. Well, it, it depends. Where does I the mean, southern gothic band go when they go? <laughs> <laughs> right. when they go to That's a good Muscle point. Shoals. You gotta be um, specific audience you know, for that. Any any sort of we call them you know corporate gigs where you're playing in restaurants or bars or anything like that. That's not just specifically a concert and that's right. the, its sole purpose we will do covers but usually we'll do some kind of um what would you say like we try to make if, deeper if we're cuts doing our, yeah, yeah we do things we don't just that do, we can make our own you know we don't okay. just do like brown eyed girl and, yeah. and, and okay. things like that which we really what they ask for yeah. it okay. but we tend to play more like tom waits and the the best you know. venue for you then uh, favorite venue? Yeah, I mean, when the crowd what works setting, best for yeah. yeah what works, what's yeah. the best setting for mm-hmm. you guys? Okay, mm-hmm. this is going to work for us. Well, we played a show at the basement not too long ago, and That's that was in Nashville. Yeah, that was in Nashville. That was really ideal for a, a band like us. Um, like she said, you know, a lot of times we are kind of playing stuff that we can't we can't go full skeleton crew. So right. But a, 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 a venue like the basement, um, you know, people are there. We're all there for one reason. That's to hear something new, to something hear fun, exciting. Something different views, different so music, yes. um, that was that was a fun show. Um, okay. We were all there for the same reason. It was we could turn up and kind of be yourself. It was great. Okay. So right. So that, that becomes well. I, I wonder because like when you do covers, I mean, some people do covers. What they do, absolutely, they work right. on a regular basis. They pay the bills. Nothing wrong with that. Right. <laughs> no, yeah. wrong with that. <laughs> you know, but when you set out that other direction, then it's like okay, then there has to be a. a we have set. we have different right. sets depending depending on the venue. Okay. So right. Yeah. Okay. We sort of chameleon. We adapt to where <laughs> wherever <laughs> we are. Tailor make. Yeah. What yeah. You do want to get paid. You know. That's, right. that's exactly. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. You don't want to turn anything down. A chance to hear them as as they they present themselves the Jackson Sound Concert Series uh, Saturday night March the 17th get that on your calendar now we're almost well, we're right. into March we're, this week yeah we are so a couple of weekends away with the skeleton crew back road therapy is going to open this at 6 30 ten dollar tickets $10. eventbrite.com and then put in skeleton crew and, and that'll be the concert that comes up it's limited back, seating so go yeah. ahead and get your tickets now back road yes. therapy does what kind of stuff same kind of they're thing, sort of more of a southern rock kind okay. of country act so yeah, that's it'll, the be vibe interesting. Of that. it'll be two different audience members so. <laughs> So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> well, it's great to have you with us. It is. Absolutely. It's, a pleasure. it's always a pleasure having you guys here. Yeah. Time. The Skelter Crew will be back. They'll close out the show. We'll continue in just a moment with more Six in the City. Propane, 95% generated in the U.S., is a gas that works anywhere. Central tanks for fleets, vehicles. Portable tanks for forklifts, lawnmowers, the fuel you can take anywhere. Even backup generation runs off propane, household appliances, outdoor features. To find out more about affordable, clean, versatile propane, contact JEA's ProGas, 422-7500. The alternative fuel that makes sense. Propane, part of JEA today. Stop and think about your health. Don't smoke. If you do, quit. Eat healthy. Make small changes in your diet that can impact your health. Be more active. Start in small ways and keep going. And know your numbers. Your blood pressure and your cholesterol are important to your health. Friends of Heart ask you to be a friend of your own heart. With E Plus Broadband and Watch TV Everywhere, you can now take your TV on the go. Just visit WatchTVEverywhere.com to sign up. Then you're all set to catch your favorite shows, movies, and sports wherever and whenever you want on any internet connected device. Choose from our growing selection of networks from your cable package at no extra charge. Visit WatchTVEverywhere.com to learn more. It's easy to sign up for E Plus Broadband's TV Everywhere.
Welcome back to Six in the City. You got an announcement you want to make about we got still got natural gas survey that we, we need. We do. We uh, have a natural gas survey. Just placed on folks in Madison County. We need folks in Madison County. You don't necessarily have to be a customer of JEA. As a matter of fact, we are looking for those that are not customers of JEA but still live within the area of our uh, JEA natural okay. gas facilities. So you can go online to jacksenergy.com, look for the natural gas survey. It takes like two seconds to fill out and it's not any big deal at all. And the information that we use will help us and okay. the, the uh, um, National Public, the Public Utilities Commission in the uh, delivery of safe, reliable natural gas. All right. So. Got basketball coming up. We're doing the show on Tuesday, the 27th, right? 27th, right. March 28th, wrapping up the month. No, March is So we have right Union basketball court. coming up tonight. If you're watching us on Tuesday, it'll be at 6 o'clock. They're hosting Delta State. This is the quarterfinals of the Gulf South Conference uh, for, for women. And then if Union wins, there, there may be more, but that will be live and it'll be replay coming up. And then Saturday, as we noted earlier, we're carrying the first of three Saturdays of TSSAA State Championship Basketball. This is Division Two coming up this week. USJ, the girls are in the semifinals Thursday against Franklin Road Academy. They're playing in Nashville at Lipscomb. If they win that game, they'll be on 1 o'clock coming up Saturday. That's and right. so we'll have championship games like at 1, 3, 5, 30, 7, 30 uh, throughout the day. And then Division, the girls, Division 1 championships the following weekend and the boys' Division 1 championships the following weekend. So three successive Saturdays of high school basketball here. And good luck to teams we have south side. Other people are, are playing in regionals. And so hope to have some other teams in the state tournament. We're glad to be doing all of that. Really appreciate the skeleton crew being right. with us. Always and enjoy. Always a pleasure having them here. And we got the uh, AMP series <laughs> that, that uh, Chris Felder said is going to include 10 That's shows right. this year. That's so right. That's exactly hard right. Hard to believe we are making the, the transition to spring. Yes, we're about to be in March, just right around the corner. Oh, one thing, too, to remember yes. is the uh, Fuller Strong Foundation uh, event this weekend, the 5K that's coming up Saturday morning. And then that Saturday afternoon is the um, silent auction and dinner. And and then where now? In Huntingdon, Huntington, at the Carroll okay. County Civic Center. Okay, all right. And then also, you know I can't get away without talking about another race. Okay. Is that I believe it's Community Montessori Schools uh, 5K is this Saturday. You can find more information. I think you can go online to racesonline.com yeah. and find out more information. I'm glad to hear because 5Ks come up in my email. I just control, alt, delete. <laughs> Unless you see where there's food involved, right? <laughs> yeah, well, this is a pancake breakfast. That's right. You right, run, I run, with, you walk, you we're, eat. We're delighted to have these folks with us. They're going to close out the show, the That's Skeleton right. Crew. See you next week.
season. 